Welcome to Bergen, Norway, heart of the fjords and UNESCO city of gastronomy. Today we are at... Actually, Marianne, can you tell us where exactly we are today? Yes, hi. Today we are at Mile Island, Vastra, 20 minutes by boat from Bergen city. So we are gathered here today, uh, a group of, from different restaurants and even a local gin producer. Fantastic. So we have a great uh, group of people to he here today on this uh, gorgeous day and uh, we'll give you a little taste of what it's like with uh, food in the fjords. Now let me introduce you to Stig Barekstan from Us Craft Distillery. Wow, uh, what have you have? Uh, what have you set up today? Uh, today I have some gin, uh, mainly botanical spirit, uh, and uh, I'm gonna make a kind of dry martini. We're gonna have some uh, local seafood, and uh, we will try to enjoy that. Beside that, I'm gonna do a cocktail with uh, aquavit, our local spirit, uh, and uh, I'm gonna do that together with apple juice. Uh, that's it's a warm cocktail, so perfect for when you're outdoor. And uh, this gin, uh, Barkstan gin, uh, has won quite a number of awards. Can you tell us more about that? Yes, this gin is, uh, I, I think we now have around 30 different gold medals from international competitions. Double gold in San Francisco in 2017, and this year was uh, best in class as well. So it's uh, the world best gin, London dry gin. All produced in Bergen? All produced in Bergen, just uh, on the other side of the fjord. And uh, Akivit. What is Aquavit? Aquavit is, is, from my point of view, Aquavit and gin is more or less same, same, but different. It's uh, produced in the same way as gin, but it has caraway as the main uh, botanical. And in gin is, of course, juniper. And this is a very uh, Norwegian spirit. Scandinavian, I would say. But in Norway, Aquavit is, is, is a little bit different from the rest of uh, Scandinavia. We have to mature it uh, in uh, casks for at least six months. So that gives it a little bit of different style from some of the other aquavits, so it's uh, more pleasant. Uh, and uh, of course, we use it quite a lot to 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 to, uh, to Christmas and traditional food, but uh, but it's also a perfect ingredients in cocktails. Now I'm gonna, I'm not gonna actually, I'm not gonna do a dry martini. I will do ice cold gin. I don't need a vermouth. Uh, Personally, I like a dry martini naked, so the vermouth is more for the conceptual side of it. So it's more about getting the, the gin uh, chilled. Just fill the stirring glass here with a lot of ice. A quite generous measure of uh, gin, a little bit more. Then it's just to get this uh, stirred and chilled. Then it's just a zest of lemon. Squeeze it over a glass in here and then we have a dry martini so you want some oyster to gin absolutely and uh, <laughs> Knut Magnus he has the best oysters in this country that's for sure and I think the best food and drink pairing that's out there is actually ice cold gin and oysters so let's try we that agree. <laughs> the oysters Super fresh. Skål. Skål. But the most important thing I think people want to know is how can you experience Bajkstan gin? It's just to go to the distillery or actually you can experience probably most of the world uh, today in a bar. But uh, if you're here in Bergen, it's just to contact Oscraft Distillery and we do tours at the distillery with food pairings, whatever you want actually. Mm -hmm. And are there any opportunities for uh, tasting? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So we do a tasting on all our products when we do these tours. So the only problem is there, you have to buy the product in a monopoly afterwards because we can't sell at the distillery. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it tastes a little bit different when you eat it right on the coastline, doesn't it? Yeah, but absolutely. And, uh, and together with oyster, you have the best experience you can have, at, I think. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but the gin is also, it's, it's, it's a gin that contains quite a lot of local botanicals. 
I would not say only, it's 26 different botanicals where 19 of them are locally sourced in the region around Bergen. So, uh, so it has this uh, local terroir as well that uh, is kind of unique. And also the technique, we use potato spirit. It has some similarities with the ingredients we use in the Aquavit as well. So, so it's a traditional but a little bit different uh, gin. Mm, so it's really uh, like tasting Bergen in a way. I would say it's capturing uh, Norway in a way. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> so now we're gonna make a drink that's normal I have with me when I go to the mountains or it can also be served as a non-alcoholic uh, cocktail is local apple juice uh, steamed together with uh, cinnamon so this is kind of bringing back uh, some childhood uh, memories and uh, and also the aquavit, uh, the caraway and the botanicals in aquavit works extremely well with the apples. So it's a perfect mixer and also a very important thing for this region as well. So, so what I'm going to do is actually just to pour a couple of centiliters of the, the aquavit into a cup. And then this uh, apple juice that's uh, been cooked together with cinnamon and some star anise is actually just to pouring it into the, to the drink and then we can just uh, garnish it with a cinnamon stick and then you have a fantastic drink that's perfect to bring on a thermos when you go out in the mountains or yeah cook it in your kitchen so what do you say Eskil is uh, it this is one of the best yeah the essence of Norway the essence of Norway good point Okay, so it looks like we have something uh, cooking over here. So let's head over to uh, Christian Vongan, executive chef at uh, Bare Restaurant. Now it's been uh, almost a year since uh, Bare Restaurant has been awarded one Michelin star. Yeah. How's uh, that been? It's been amazing to get an award for what we do and, uh, and uh, a profit for, for that we do. And uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what you have uh, prepared so far for us today. Yeah, uh, for today we're gonna grill some langoustine on the grill over here. Just gonna wait till it's a bit hotter. Uh, so these langoustine are caught uh, at uh, Nordhordland Fiskemottak, uh, just an hour from Bergen. And we also have some mushrooms, some um, sprouts that we pick in the forest. We also have some fresh uh, ramson that just pop up from the earth and some mushrooms on the side. And is this a dish that you serve at Bare restaurant? We serve it now, yeah. And tell us a little bit about the menu behind uh, Bare. Yeah, we are very focused on the seasonal menu. Uh, sustainability is also a good, uh, good thing to think about when you make a menu. Uh, so we use everything on the, from the langoustine, for example. We use the claws, uh, we use the shells, we even use the brains for uh, <laughs> for a glaze we have on top on the langoustine. So we use everything, especially when there's a hunting season, we use um, deer from uh, Fusa, an island one and a half hour from Bergen, so. And when is the best season for that? Uh, October, November, December, it's mm. allowed to shoot there and hunting. So uh, that's the best season for um, hunting, um, yeah. And uh, for shellfish, it's January, February, March. That's, uh, in this season now, the seafood are excellent here in Bergen. Fantastic. Okay, so while that fire is uh, getting a bit hotter, let's uh, check in with Marion and see what she's been up to. Hi, Krista. Hi. What do you have going on here? Well, this is a seafood soup. I have, uh, it's not so easy to see here uh, with all the smoke, but uh, I'm making a seafood soup with, uh, with shore crabs and shells and uh, some different seaweed. Uh, so it will uh, be boiling on the bonfire for about one and a half hour. The, the longer, the better. It smells amazing so far. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. And uh, tell us a little bit about uh, Bergen Fjord Adventures. Yes, uh, I have uh, um, cuisine tours or fo food tours all year round. So I bring my guests out here to places like this 
uh, out in the nature or at this place at uh, Vastra. So we make uh, seafood like this, different dishes. We have uh, first-hand uh, seafood from my brother, uh, so it's all local uh, and uh, really, really fresh. So uh, we eat oysters, scallops, seafood soup, uh, and uh, different shells and langoustines. So uh, here today I will uh, serve uh, scallops. They are the best now, winter time. Uh, and after that, uh, we will have the seafood soup. So this is exactly what you might uh, experience on one of your trips eating uh, freshly caught seafood and uh, right on the coastline here. Yes. And uh, in case we have bad, bad uh, weather, that happens uh, sometimes, <laughs> uh, we have a really beautiful boathouse uh, where we can go inside and uh, open the doors and uh, we are inside, but we get the feeling of being outside. Mm. And I even have uh, fjord safaris where we just cruise around uh, between different islands and small islets. And uh, I show them, my guests, beautiful, small secret escapes and uh, safaris to watch uh, the sea eagle. Fantastic. And what kind of uh, groups do you take with you? Oh, that varies a lot. I have uh, small groups. With, uh, from down to two guests and up to quite big groups. Uh, so we, we tailor-made after what our customers want. Fantastic. I can't wait to try this myself. I'm really looking forward to serve you the different dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> so it looks like uh, there's a bit more heat over here. So let's see uh, what uh, Christian is going to prepare now. Yeah. Here we have some uh, mushroom bouillon. We pick a lot of mushrooms in the season, in August, September, October. So we uh, everything that we can't, um, or we have a lot of spare mushrooms, so we cook a bouillon on it and we use it later. So today we use it together with the langoustine that I showed you earlier. Here we have some uh, butter that we made of porcini. We dry porcini and we mix it with the uh, butter. So we're just going to put just emulsify the butter into the mushrooms. So here is langoustine from uh, Bevogen. Just going to put some salt on it. And we're going to leave it here. While they are uh, grilling, we can start plating up a dish. Pickled chantrels. And together with the uh, mushroom bouillon that we made, we also uh, made some uh, mushroom soy. We put uh, mushrooms on salt for uh, one year, so it's fermenting. So out in the wild we use our hands. <laughs> So this is uh, the type of uh, dish that awards you a Michelin star. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So now let's see what's cooking over here with Anders Isakar, general manager and co-owner of Skiskaparen restaurant on top of uh, Mount Ulrikjan. Yes. Hi. Hello, Krista. So uh, what's new with uh, a restaurant on top of uh, one of Bergen's yeah. tallest mountains? Yeah, it's uh, actually ex very exciting times. We are, uh, we are in the process of uh, expanding the cable car, upgrading it. We get the triple capacity and uh, it's even going faster than the old one. And, uh, and at the same time, we're ac actually doubling the size of the restaurant. So we're expanding that one as well. So we're getting much more capacity and much more flexibility in doing all kinds of different events and yeah, nice arrangements. And uh, the restaurant, the uh, Skiskaparen, means the skyscraper, right? Yeah, so tell us a, correct, yeah. a bit about the concept behind the restaurant. Yeah, we have, uh, of course, we're situated on the top of 
Bergen's top, tallest mountain, and so we try to put things there that actually belongs there more or less. Uh, like today, I'm going to uh, do a, a lamb dish, and we have actually uh, lamb feeding, summer feeding uh, in the under in the surrounding mountains. So uh, they're uh, visiting us uh, in the summertime, and we're serving them up in the uh, fall. So uh, this is a free-range lamb from yeah. the actual top of the mountain where you can uh, enjoy uh, dinner from. Absolutely. So we, we do uh, yeah, try to focus on local products and we sometimes pick uh, vegetables or, or herbs uh, on the mountainside. And we also have to, uh, yeah, we, we have, but we have it kind of a, a double concept. We, we do a nice uh, fine dining restaurant in the evening for uh, events, for pre-booked but we also do a very light uh, uh, cafe style with uh, just yeah plain uh, normal home cooked uh, traditional dishes yeah uh, so the perfect guest for Skiskapen that's essentially everyone at all times of day and all times of year yeah actually we are uh, now with the new upgrade we can do uh, events all year around and uh, so it will be a very exciting to do uh, yeah like the christmas events and and uh, more uh, more winter time uh, events. So, what are you going to make for us today? Yeah, like I mentioned, we have the the lamb uh, feeding around our, our uh, doorsteps, more or less. Uh, so we're going to uh, make some uh, lamb curry uh, together with some uh, local uh, vegetables, a lot of green vegetables and uh, some mushrooms, and uh, and we also have a uh, like a onion uh, puree and uh, uh, lamb uh, sauce. <laughs> Just salt and pepper on the lamb before we grill it. So we try to grill it properly on all sides first and then you can just rest it uh, in the end. Yeah, together with the lamb that's resting, we're just frying up some uh, small new vegetables. Some uh, potatoes, broccoli, some kale here. Fantastic pink uh, lamb. Flavorful uh, lamb sauce made from the bones and trimmings of the. So, this is uh, one of the flavors you can get on uh, Ulliken with a, a local, uh, local lamb. Oh, look at that! Almost like finger food. Huh? Mm. Mm. Incredible. Yeah, good luck. Mm. We hope you've enjoyed your uh, gastronomic experience here in Bergen at uh, Vestra with this amazing weather. If you want more information of uh, food in the fjords, please visit visitbergen.com or uh, find more content on our YouTube channels to get a little bit of a taste of what Bergen has to offer. Um, Morion, is the rest of the food ready? Yes, it is. Great. Uh, come on, everyone, let's uh, dig in. Mm -hmm.